In this video, I'm going to do a live brand audit of two solopreneur businesses. I have not checked out the websites yet. I posted an Instagram story asking one of my followers to volunteer themselves for a live brand audit. And here it is. In this video, I'm going to check out tutorials and meet your meat. I'll be highlighting the things that you should and shouldn't have in your brand and opportunities that can actually maximize your brand opportunity. What's up, bosses? I'm Tarleen, your personal brand consultant at Boss Diplomat, making you look so good you can't be ignored. Right, let's jump straight into it. Thank you to Satin Faulkner, the owner and founder of Saturals, for letting me have a peek at her website. Just a disclaimer, folks, I have not looked at this website in advance. So this is going to be my first time looking at this business website. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I think of it from a brand perspective. So Saturals.net, what are you all about? So the first thing that jumps out is this subscribe now button. Oh, okay, anyone who knows me knows that I cannot stand pop-up widgets because I won't even look at what it says. I'm just going to hit that. My eyes are like immediately going into that X button and going, how do I get this thing off my screen so I can look into the things I actually want to find? So I actually recommend not having a pop-up unless there's a special event that's coming up for your business that is time limited or there's a time limited discount or something of that nature but just to subscribe to your email list look they've already found you on your website do not redirect them out of your website so let's check that off bye subscribe now okay so what is Satoros all about welcome to Satoros hair and body okay it's a hair and body skincare product, I'm assuming, just by looking at this homepage. Immediately, I'm thinking this photo was done on a phone. It is not a professional photograph because there's a lot of shadows um, that is covering up your product. Um, as you can see here, the background is not a good choice because you've got some of it's blurred, some of it's not blurred. It looks like it's just done on a pavement. My eye is going to all of those different shadows. I'm not really directly looking at all of the beautiful products that you have laid out here. And plus, the head of your bottles are already cut off. So I'm not seeing a full image of what your products are. And it's not doing, it's not selling the business very well at the moment. The other thing is your shop now button is completely hidden because you're using a white font. Your product packaging is also white, so there is no sharp contrast. The other thing I'm noticing is there's a lack of brand colors. You're using black and white. Black and white is your default brand colors. You should have at least three other brand accents to really shine out your brand. It's also not evident to me what actually your brand colors are based on your product packaging. You know, you've got, I don't know if this pink is a tissue paper or not. I'm not quite clear. Um, but even the fonts, you've got this hot pink, but then you have this orangey pumpkin color, and then you have this kind of red rouge color, and then you've got some sort of like tropical thing going on here. I'm confused as to what your colors are, my child. So let's fix that. Right, what else am I seeing? Due to extreme all order vol volumes and the COVID-19 pandemic, customers should expect shipping to be delayed by seven plus business days. COVID is over. Um, well, at least, the, at least the main pandemic is. So this looks like, it looks like your website is not updated. So I would recommend taking that down um, because it's not giving the best first impression of your business. So let's remove that. Okay, let's look at your sitemap. So you have home, shop all, soaps, oral care, our root, FAQ, contact. So that's one, two, three, four, five, run out of fingers, six, seven, and then there's a sign in button with a card, eight, nine. There's nine call to actions right there on the home page and there's no logo um that is the stamp to your business definitely add your logo to that um i'm also not seeing i don't know if, if this like typography is your logo i'm not clear because it's not consistent in all of your packaging look we haven't even looked at 
the rest of the website. This is just based on your homepage. The hero page says a lot about your business. Um, and there's already a lot of red flags to what I'm seeing at the moment. Okay, so what makes this business special? I hope you can tell me this. Let's keep going. Satorals is a skincare line dedicated to our mission to provide customers with quality, all natural skincare, beauty, wellness products. Okay, it's a skincare line, um, but then you talk about skincare, beauty, and wellness products, which completely like underwrites the fact that you call yourself a skincare line. Okay, because skincare, then beauty and the wellness are three different industries um, within its own niche. Um, your mission is to provide customers with quality, all natural skincare. What does all natural actually mean? Who are your customers? Um, what does quality skincare actually look like? Why should you care? Um, why is it important? There's a lot of questions for me to ask just based on this original statement okay so as you can see this is a blurry image also another blurry image also another blurry image this is not this is not saying professional to me there's a lot of opportunity when it comes to the way you picture your your products if the photos are not of high quality it's really hard to sell this to your customers it's so Definitely invest in professional photography. I know a ton of amazing professional photographers you could go to, um, but without professional photographs of your products, it's gonna be a hard sell. And these images are blown up, which is great, but it's blurry. It's, you know, you can't, you can't actually read anything. You can't actually see the product for what it is. The products are not being used. It's just a standalone, Hey, check out this bar of soap. Um, and even then, it's blurry, it's pixelated. Um, you know, again, the head is cut off. So you're showing a lot of the, the ground. So in terms of just how it's photographed, it's not done professionally. It's, again, it's blurry. So you really have to focus in on that, on that text to see what it's saying. Okay, so your shop all has, I'm assuming, all of your products. Um, now, if I was to dissect each product, let's scroll down a bit. So I like how you've got various images of your products. That's great. But I stand by my, my first um, advice of ensuring that your product photography is done professionally because right now it's not. You can tell this is done on a phone. Um, ordinarily, that's fine but because your images are pixelated and they don't look high quality it's not doing it's not helping you right now i think you can really go on your home page or even the about us page um so this is all sh this is your shipping policy that can go right at the bottom um your shipping policy or your purchase policy or your sales policy whatever that is can go at the footer of your website this is just Honestly, you're wasting space here. No one's going to read this. Contact us. Contact us. Contact us for what? I don't know why I need to contact you, but this is a very generic form. So I have no incentive to, to get in touch with you. So that was a review of tutorials. There is a lot of work to do. Um, definitely have a power hour with me, girl. Let's figure out how to fix this brand. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Right, so that was Satorals by Satin Faulkner. There's a lot of missed opportunities on that website, sorry to say. You are missing a complete brand identity. I don't know who you are. I don't know what makes your business special. Your brand colors are very invisible. Your photos are not doing you any justice in selling your products. Your product description is missing a lot of information. There's no information about you as the owner and why people should even care about buying your products. So there's a lot of work to be done on your website. Okay, so let's move on to website number two. So I am now gonna be reviewing Meet Your Meat. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at. What is that? What's happening? Is this a convention? Is this, is this, I don't know. Oh my God, I'm British. So immediately I'm like, is this a militia group? Like, like what is she carving up right here? I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, it looks like a blog to me rather than a business page because you have your name here, which is 
really small. That font is too small for a homepage header. Texas-based wild game butcher. Like, I really have to, like, strain my eyes to see that. You're a wild game butcher? That is so cool. Okay, I love your business name title, but this is, like... It's, it's not doing you any favor. We want to show off you carving that meat. So in fact, what I would have done is have a really high quality image of you chopping up that meat, but just you, like forget everyone else that's going on, a uh, really high, high level, have a professional photo of you chopping up that meat. I want to see your face doing your thing, okay? Not in an event photo. Because all of this is it like I my eyes are going, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Welcome to meet your meat. Okay, what is this? So an El Salvadorian immigrant. That's cool. Adopted Texan, Chris Abigail, two first names, has spent the last seven years learning the art and craft of wild game butchery in in the Texas Hill country. County? Should, should I say county? While honing her knife skills, she fell in love with the process of turning death into food. <gasps> that should be on the homepage, turning death into food. Like, and then talking about how you're a wild game butcher. Oh my God, there's so much opportunity here. Driven by a passion to share her knowledge, she decided to launch Meet Your Meat. Meet Your Meat aims to educate, honor and spotlight the life cycle of the meat we eat. Oh, so you're not actually selling meat? Like, yes, this is a course. I like, I'm, I'm not clear what this business does. Uh, oh my God, you have a tattoo of a deer. Ah, you really love what you're doing, Chris. That's awesome. Okay, so wild game butchery education. Okay, maybe I'm starting to get this. But again, I'm as a brand consultant, I'm my, my, my head is like, are you selling? What are you selling me? Like, what, what is this a blog? Is this a blog? Is this a blog? Always wanted to have your very own processor on your hunts. Have knives will travel from breakdown to specific cuts. I share my expertise with new and more experienced hunters out in the wilderness. Okay, so we're starting to get a sense of who your target audience is, but I'm having to read this tiny little text to find out what that is because your brand is not explaining any of that to me whatsoever. So I've been on on site. I've been the on site butcher for the new school of traditional cookery. Okay, this is more information about you. Okay, butchery clinics. What is this? Okay, this is a very pixelated image. I, I thought that originally this was going to lead me to a video. Um, yes even this image look it's super pixelated i can't take this seriously um also the leaflet is just so big i have to scroll down it should the minute my eye sets uh, the minute my eye is looking at this promo i should be able to analyze everything that you're telling me without having to scroll down good thing um one positive thing about this is it is updated recent so clearly you're you are keeping up with the information on your website i don't know who this is for though it's very unclear to me who your target audience is without having to read more okay um so this is clearly a course and then the meat room journal yeah what is this I don't know who this is for, what this is, is this a course, event, are you selling me something? Like, I am not clear if this, what this is. Butchery demonstrations at pop-up dinners, that's cool. But I don't know who it's for. Where are you going to pop up? Are you going to people's houses? Is this for an event? Is this you or is this somebody else? Like, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and then what's this? Three, two, one, I'm going to play it, okay? Don't get scared. This should be higher up on your website. That should be higher up on your website. If someone is promoting you. Let's see. I'm going to scroll forward. Can I scroll forward? I cannot scroll forward. Can I scroll forward? Okay. Okay, that's an issue because I can't... I have no control over 
how how I want to consume this video. I can't skip forward, I can't skip back, I can't go to the end. Um, and as a result, this is a missed opportunity because people might not want to watch this video. Follow me on Instagram, okay. And all of these links take people out of your website. Look, the whole point of your, your website is to keep them on your website and then make a sale, right? Now you're just redirecting them out. I know this is good for adding like your reputation and your credibility, but this is on your homepage and you're just giving people an excuse to leave your website. So I would actually include this maybe on the About Us page because it's like wild, wild game buttery. Look, I'm from the UK. I have no idea what this means. And it's interesting as heck, but there's no information about it. And I don't want to find out this information on someone else's website when you're supposed to be the expert in this very specific niche. So there's a huge opportunity that's missing. As the expert in the field, I want to see your face. Like the fact that this is badass woman talking about turning death into like, into an experience, into me, challenging the status quo. The fact that you're an El Salvadorian immigrant. I want to hear your journey. I want to know how you got to the position that you're in without having to watch a one hour interview of you talking to these two other guys. So um, your website is missing a lot of that information. Now you have it. I have just done a live brand audit of two businesses that I've never seen before. Meet your meat and satorals. And I've demonstrated exactly what's missing in their brand. And unfortunately, there's a lot of missing holes and a lot of missing opportunities here. But the good news is this is easily fixed. All you need to do is book a free mini brand session with me, Tarleen. The link is in the description. It's only half an hour, but this is going to give you so much more information about what you need to do to up your branding game in your business, become the face of your business so people actually want to buy your product and actually work with you.